Hey folks, this is Colin Shannon, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel. Today, we're going to walk through how to create a Ruby web application and then register it in cPanel's application manager interface. In cPanel and WHM version 66, we deprecated our legacy Ruby code base and the interfaces that used it. This means that any Ruby applications you create with cPanel's Ruby on Rails interface, cPanel's Ruby Gems interface, and the Ruby Gem installer in WHM's Module Installers interface will not function correctly. You can still create and install Ruby applications, but it's just done a little differently as of cPanel and WHM version 66 and later. First of all, your server must run Easy Apache 4 and the EA-Ruby24-Mod underscore Passenger and EA-Ruby24 dash ruby dash devel apache rpms then after you create the application you must register it in cpanel's application manager interface in fact if the ea dash ruby 24 dash mod underscore passenger rpm isn't installed on your server the application manager interface won't even be available also if you want to add environment variables when you register your application the EA-Apache24-Mod underscore env RPM must also be installed on your server. We'll touch on environment variables later in the video. When you create an application, you can either do it on the command line as a cPanel user or in cPanel's terminal interface, which provides direct command line access within a cPanel and WHM session as a cPanel user. We go over this feature more in depth in another video. I'm going to install a Sinatra Ruby application in this video, but you can create other web applications, like Jekyll or Redmine, as well. I've included a link to our documentation with examples of how to create a few different web applications. I'll also use the terminal interface to do this, so let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. First, let's scroll down to the software section and check for the application manager interface. Yep, there it is, which means I already have the necessary Ruby RPMs installed. Now, let's go to the Advanced section and click Terminal. The terminal interface will appear. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to install the Sinatra gem. To do this, we'll run the SCL enable EA-Ruby24 gem install Sinatra command. Cool, it's installed. Okay, now we need to create the new application's directory path relative to your home directory. This directory is where the application's source code will reside. You might want to give this source code directory the same name that you want to give your application. I'm going to call this application Frank, so I'll run the mkdir slash home slash example slash Frank command to create the directory. Now we need to add some source code to the directory. Let's change to the frank directory and create a couple of files. First, I'll use the vi text editor to create the app.rb file. Then, I'll add the processes that I want the application to run to this file. For this video, I'll just add something simple, basically a hello world script. Okay, now I'll create the config.ru file and add the configurations to make this work. Remember, these are just simple examples. I've added a link to Sinatra's documentation so you can read more about how to populate those two files with your own specifications. Okay, now that we've done that, the application's ready to register. Let's return to the cPanel home interface, scroll down to software, and click application manager. The application manager interface will appear. As you can see, I don't have any applications registered yet. Well, let's go ahead and register our Sinatra app. First, click Add Application. A new interface will appear. Enter the application's name, Frank, in the Name text box. Next, select the main domain, add-on domain, or subdomain to which to deploy the Ruby application in the domain menu. I'll select example.com. Now, enter the application's base URL, in this case, slash frank, 
in the Application URL text box. When you want to access your application, you'll enter example.com slash frank in the URL. Now, enter the directory's path to where the application source code lives in the path to application text box. Ours is slash home slash example slash frank, so I'll enter example slash frank. Click development or production to choose the server environment that the application will run in. Click development if you need to continue to develop your application, or click production if you want to deploy and use your application. This defaults to production, and I'll leave it there since the application we created is ready to deploy and use. After we add the application, we should add some server environment variables for the application's Apache configuration file. Environment variables allow you to configure the processes that the application runs on multiple systems. Under the Environment Variables table, click Add Variable. A new line with text boxes will appear. Enter a variable name, such as httpd, in the Environment Variable Name text box. Make certain that you limit its name to 256 characters or fewer of letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes. Next, enter a value for the environment variable, such as slash user slash sbin slash httpd.worker in the environment variable value text box. Make certain that you limit this variable to 1024 or fewer ASCII characters. After you enter an environment variable's name and corresponding value, click Save. After you add your environment variables, click Save Application. The system will confirm your success and return you to the main Application Manager interface. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, visit us on the web at cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at, at cPanel. Thanks for watching, and happy automating!